Hurts. No, actually, I do want to talk about something. Now we're just sitting here. Jared, look, okay, sweet boy smiles all the time, right? Look at him. Dude, <laughs> breaks breaks women's hearts like it's dude nothing. i don't want to talk about that you don't you don't want to talk how you don't value women's hearts huh that's not true at what do you, all do you like this. lead them on oh get does them he no, lead them I on don't oh my gosh no i don't the last one was because of distance okay and then Didn't every you other move time, away from her <laughs> no, <laughs> no i was already in la granted should i have like started it knowing that she lives across the country. Probably not. That's my bad. I'll take. You're that a hopeless one. romantic. You are a this. hopeless romantic. You juggled her heart like a like a clown. God, don't put it like that. I, so, uh, I feel like I wasn't that. Dude, we're riffing right now. Now you so, gotta attack me. You can't just go soft and sad. Now I get sad. Sorry, that I treat you that way. That's how I get. I get right. soft and sad, and I do apologize. <laughs> that's you how, know that's how he gets them with emotion. That's that's how your album should be. It's just your flaccid penis, soft and sad. <laughs> Um, I just I just recreate like the Nirvana album, but it's <laughs> <laughs> called Soft, Soft and Sad. <laughs> They're like, wow. You hear about that kid going after like money now? Oh Is yeah, he yeah, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's like, you basically like you showed my wiener to everyone, and I didn't get penis. much money for it. <laughs> wow. How much would it cost for you to do a sex tape, bro? Yeah, I don't even think I could put a price on that because it'd be too good. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it'd be terrible. <laughs> it's just like he's boring thing in the world. Was a, it's like <laughs> a it's like a boxing fight you play pay per view for and they get knocked out in the first round. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Well, Mariah would never. Um, but hypothetically, if she was down, I forgot we were. You also got to keep in mind, I got to split this. You know what I mean? Like this isn't all cash going into my pocket. Yeah, that's taxes. true. So, oh <laughs> shit, it's getting cut in half twice. No, this is hush money. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. under right, the okay. table. I think if me and her walked off with a cool five mil. Five mil. So 10 mil total. Yeah. I've got a brother. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't you, think we're into that stuff. It's just next week, like we have Zane on. He's like, react to this. It's just like, <laughs> is that Heath and Mariah going at it? We're like, yep. yeah, we paid $5 million. <laughs> Could you believe, <laughs> Can you believe that bargain? you believe that bargain? Got 60 views. Like, yeah, because I think I would just take that and invest it and then just live off that for the rest of my life, disappear, change my name. There you Probably go. Probably get some plastic surgery. Oh wow, you're going whole nine yards yeah. on this. If you had to get some any plastic surgery, what would you alter about your body? Um, as soon as I get this weight off, um, probably like the week after I finish, I'm going to get my nipples done. Your what does that mean? Get your nipples done. Gynecomastia. Um, I have breast tissue. Oh, um, they're like lumps oh. underneath. Uh, so I'm getting them removed. I think a lot of guys have that when they hit puberty. Yeah, it's supposed to go away when you hit puberty, um, but sometimes it doesn't. I was I was sitting in class once and uh, you made fun of the kid with gynecomastia. No, I I had the lumps under my tits. Oh, yours went away because yeah, I, I was being nice. I was going through <laughs> I was going through puberty and I'm like I I was a class clown so I just like shouted things at times. I'm like I've got lumps under my tits <laughs> and then everybody's like what does it mean? I was like I don't know <laughs> but I got lumps under my tits and the teacher's like calm down. I was like I've got lumps under my tits and she finally she's like it means you're going through puberty okay and then that really like I was like oh. Then you got embarrassed. I got so embarrassed. <laughs> I was like, I was like, sick. My wiener won't be small. Um, when did you hit puberty? I don't remember going through it. You don't. You might haven't hit it yet. I I don't. He's think. just six four next He's, year. They're supposed to drop, right? <laughs> no, we saw oh, the we bowls. Saw we know you went through it. Uh, maybe it happened so young. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Remember. No, I don't know. Um, I remember starting to get hair on my peaches. What grade I was that? I think it was middle school. Oh, dude, I was middle way, school. I was way later to the game. Same, dude. Really? Yeah. I, I remember in middle school uh, shaving my pubes with a, a nail clipper. Really? How'd you get? How'd you go about that? Well, I didn't. That's, I didn't have anything to use, and I didn't want to like ask my parents for like a razor or a ball trimmer or something. So it was, I. I also didn't want to grab the family scissors. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you're respectful about so it. So okay. there was a, a nail clipper in the bathroom. So I just... What? Did you sit there for one three by, hours? One Holy. by one and started just going at it, clipping. I'd like to apologize to my mom live on air because I'm pretty sure you would leave the, the razors that you like shaved your legs no, with you didn't. in the bathroom. And at times... You ever shave? You ever shave down there when you were younger, thinking like you could get action and you just didn't? So it was mostly... It was, it was more for you. Yeah, it was more for you. It's like, dude, this looks... Great. <laughs> Bald eagle. <laughs> it's looking longer than normal. No one's going to know, but this is beautiful. Yeah, actually, I've been there. That's what the podcast should have been the whole time. I know. Oh, sorry for the motivation talk. Yeah. Ugh, let's get in our balls. Huh? Let's talk about how to make your wiener look bigger. <laughs> I could use some tips. 
<laughs> well, we got two tips right here. We can insert. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we are really just hitting all time low. Is this? You guys cut me off whenever. I'm. We can we can wrap it up whenever. But until then, I'm just gonna be asking heinous things. Okay, when you when you first speaking of anus things, uh, you ever shaved your butt? No. You got a smooth. You got a smooth puppy. Yeah, like the outside. Yeah. yeah. No, like in it. Oh, like also no, but really? there's definitely a forest in there. It's I did one time and it was the itchiest thing for like the next week and a half. Oh, I could never. Don't do it. How'd you, how'd you do it? Like how I, I laid, I laid, I laid, on, I laid on my back. <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. And I had one of those, uh, they kind of look like the little, like the little <laughs> razors. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think that was your most vulnerable moment in your life? If somebody walked in, oh my God. Oh God. That or I just recently found out my dad walked in on me. Uh, uh, passed out. No. Oh, I was about to say. Passed out drunk with my pants down face first on the bathroom floor. <laughs> um, and that was recently. Really? Yeah. What are you doing, man? I went home to visit and I ended up <laughs> going out with my boys and... Uh, I guess I went to the bathroom at night and fell forward. Have you ever been caught in the act of of pleasuring yourself or someone else? No. That's good. Jared? No. You've walked in on plenty of it, though. Most of it, your ex is hooking up with someone else, right? Yeah. You yeah. caught your ex cheating on you? Yeah. No. Yeah, I was in I'm high sorry. school, and uh, it was, it was I, I would say, like, my first, like, serious girlfriend. Like, it was this was the girl I lost my virginity to, um, but... Yeah, I, I walked in. She like we we had been hanging out all day, and then I go to talk to her sister about something because we all work together. And she had invited this kid who we also worked with, who lived in the neighborhood over. And by the time like I was talking to her sister, he had come over, <laughs> and uh, they were just making out on the couch. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, <laughs> and the, the, this was that like start to think that uh, might have done that before, huh? Yeah, and then yeah. this is like ten or eleven at night. And then I, they didn't hear me like walk into the living room. So I just picked up my shoes and I left. And then I didn't get a text from her until like two or three or something. And she was just mm -hmm. like, Hey, where'd you go? And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> hey babe, where you at? <laughs> yeah. Just got done making out with your friend. Figured you'd be back by now. Yeah. Ouch. So, um, that was fun. It's the first time <laughs> you haven't put something in front of your bear. Fuck. Yeah. Nice. I wasn't going to tell you that. So you'd freak out. Um, oh. something's usually there. I I put a different thing there every episode for eighty. Did I make uh, you nervous? Oh yeah, definitely. kind of. Well, just life makes Jared nervous. But <laughs> well, you better put something to close it out. No, who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? <laughs> They're not gonna know. They're not gonna know. 